uh, Latinos and Blacks have always been at war in LA, um, you know, since the beginning of time. But recently, Florencia 13 and East Coast Crips, who were warring for decades, they came to a truce. I'm not sure what the, the recent updates are, but I have kind of been following it. But I want to know, what, what are your thoughts on that? And, and I want to ask you, do you think there will ever be peace in L.A.? Um, I, I want to say that the, the, the truce is still going strong. I think it's a great thing because not just <clears> because <throat> they're... They're at peace. The best, the bigger picture is that there's a lot of neighborhoods that are looking at that. There's a lot of guys from all, and I, and I get these phone calls, brother, and they tell me, hey, dude, if those, if those, if they don't say dude, but you know, they say, if those mm-hmm. guys can make peace, why the fuck can't we? Mm-hmm. And, and, and that, mm-hmm. that, and that was, that, that was a, that was a war that, listen, brown on brown is one thing, brown on black, it gets deeper. For whatever reason, it just does because, like, it's, if it's so easy to kill my own kind, you think that's not going to be easy to kill you? Or, or a black yeah. or a black guy kill me? Yeah, brother, it's, yeah. it's easy. We dehumanize each other. We dehumanize each other. So that that war for, that went for so long can can finally start making peace. Yeah, dude, I, I think I think there's hope for everybody. But we need to, like I said, we need to shake that that gangster bullshit off. We need to, like especially with Rasa, brother, we. When I was young, a lot of people we we idolized prison, man. We thought going to prison was like yeah. going to Harvard, man. We we thought that's what it was about, and and, and, it, and it, who it is at the end of the day, Dusty, it's up to us as men to step the fuck up to the plate, man. It's us as men to stay in the house because when we go to prison, guess what? There's a little boy, there's a little girl left behind without a dad, no father, no structure. There's no lion there to roar when you need to be checked. And then when you do get out of prison, you think they're gonna respect you? The fuck are you, man? You've been gone all this time. So if 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 we're gonna make this thing happen, which I I sincerely believe that there will be some sort of major peace that can go on, but it's gonna take a community of men to get together, speak about our differences, communicate, and that's what my channel's about, man. To sit there and talk to each other and, and let each other know, hey, listen, brother, this is how we feel. Hey, this is how you guys feel. All right, well, let's have that grown full conversation about it. And hopefully we can make it so we're not going to prison as much. We can start getting some of this money politically wise back into our communities, man, because that's what we need more than anything. We need to get political power, brown, black, start voting people in that, that really care about your community. Right now, especially as Latinos, brother, I think we're about... 18% of the population in Congress were represented about 7% of the time. No, no, no. That's wrong, brother. We should be 30% of Congress. You know, yeah. at, at the, the African-American, your political, listen, African-Americans as in, like in, in uh, ghettos and all, yeah, you guys have, you guys have very deep rooted issues, but it's obviously, it goes back to history, brother. But as, as, as far as your political machine, Oh no, man! Your political machine is far ahead of us, brother. Far ahead of us, brother. You you guys are doing it, and we need to do the same thing because, just like in prison in Cali, let's say, we got the numbers, brother. We got the numbers, but we don't use it. We don't unify. And what I'm trying to do, mm-hmm. Dusty, I'm, tra- yeah. I'm trying to unify. I might be crazy, brother, but I'm trying to unify my people, man. Dude, that is dope. American Cholo is the YouTube channel, and that's why I love this dude's channel because he would drop some jewels on you. Please make sure as soon as you get done listening to this show, you go to his channel, American Cholo. It's been a pleasure, Gil. I would love to do this again in the near future, my man. Yeah, absolutely, Dusty. Anytime, brother. I appreciate you and your producer, brother. Thank you, homeboy. You have a great night, and I'll be chatting with you soon, all right? All right, go ahead. Peace. Peace, man. Peace.